Hey, what's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I wanna show you how to add a Shopify chatbot to your Shopify store with a platform called Tidio. Now, the coolest thing about this is you won't just be adding a chatbot. Tidio is an entire customer experience management tool. So you'll be able to add a bunch of different chatbots to help retain your customers, to help sell, to help gather leads. You'll also be able to track everything and have access to analytics, conversion tracking, and a bunch of different AI capabilities as well and I'm gonna show you everything here as you guys watch behind my shoulder make sure you guys stay through to the end of the video just because I will be going over everything and you don't want to miss a single thing all right are you ready let's get straight into it so the first thing you guys want to do is head over to go.ivanmana.com slash tidio now this is my affiliate link and you guys can start absolutely free and anytime you do want to upgrade it's 20 percent off all right so you get a special discount with this affiliate link that i'm offering you so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sign up completely from scratch to show you guys the entire process from start to finish and then i'm gonna show you how exactly to integrate the chat but and all the cool different features that Tidio has as well. So I'm going to click on grab the deal and I'm going to sign in with my with my first email here yvonne.fmarketing at gmail.com. I'm going to set a password. So if you have your website ready, you can go in here and let's see. Let's look at our Shopify site. It's this one. I'm going to go in here and add it over here. Click on agree and say get started for free. And so here is just showing you what it could potentially look like. You can configure your live chat. So you can say your name here, right? These are all things you can change later on, but uh, just something to get started with. This looks really nice, really, really subtle, but maybe it's a little too subtle. So maybe we'll go with the blue for now. We're gonna click on continue. Here we can just answer some questions to help personalize the experience, to help set some defaults. So uh, let's say we want uh, to increase sales. Uh, let's say we want to talk to more customers or let's say we want to automate more conversations. How many support agents? Let's say we have one, just me. What's your industry? So whatever your industry is, you would select it here. Let's say online store, number of customers. Let's say we're just getting started, right? But obviously you would write whatever it is for your business. Set your first chatbot. So in your first chatbot, do you want to just greet the customers or give them some sort of special discount if they sign up, which is pretty cool because an email list is the most powerful asset you have in online marketing. So this seems pretty cool. So I'm gonna select that option here. And then we would enter the Shopify store name to connect to Tidio, right? So that's the first thing we have to do is connect it. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that, paste it here and just delete the repetition here, the Shopify part and just keep this part right here. We're gonna say connect to Shopify. Uh, the store name, the field is invalid. Okay, so let's delete the HTTPS. All right, so I had to enter a different Shopify store just because the old one was already connected, so we couldn't add that again. So once you do that, once you enter your new domain here, which is the new Shopify store that I just created, uh, you're just gonna enter that and then this is the next page you'll see. So you're just gonna click on install app over here and now the two should be automatically connected. Now, just so you know, you do need at least a basic plan with Shopify to get started. So if you're on the starter plan, which is I think $1 a month or so, uh, you won't be able to integrate the two, so you do need at least the basic plan with Shopify after your three-day Shopify trial, which is something else. So once you do that, we'll arrive at this page and we're just gonna go top to bottom filling everything in. So the first thing we have to do is add the widget to the website. So we're gonna click on uh, the button there and Tidio makes everything super easy. So you just have to literally just click, uh, you know, what it says and that's it, it's done, okay? So this website now, already has the chatbot installed just like that you can toggle it on and off here by going into the customized theme options in shopify oh sorry we have to hit save first so i just saved it and now we can come back in here and refresh our page and the chatbot should show up over here now there you go and now here it's saying you know here's the promo code um, if we enter our email and of course we can customize that okay so i'm going to show you how to do just that but let's come back over here. Let's move this a little to the side. So we're done with that. Let's go to the next part here. So now we have a real visitor try to engage with them. So now Tidio is gonna show you where to go to actually talk to your visitor. So that's gonna be over here under inbox, okay? So you have this dashboard here where it's gonna show everything. If you go to inbox, you're gonna be able to see all the different conversations that you have. So if we go to the store and we type something, hello, no, for example, and then if we enter an email, 
we should see it over here and we, we should hear a little notification and over here it says unassigned, right? Because uh, if you have many different agents, for example, this hasn't been assigned to any specific one. But we can click on join conversation and this right here under inbox is where you will be able to come in and actually talk to the agents, right? And then you can toggle your status over here, whether you're online, offline or operating hours. You can say, hey, our operating hours are blank, 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 right? Whatever they are. But we're just gonna leave it at online for now. We're gonna come back to the inbox, come back to, unass or sorry, now it is assigned, and we'll be able to uh, respond over here. So it says Yvonne joined the conversation, okay? So now that that's good, um, you know, Tidio kind of just guides you step by step what you should do. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's just go through all the steps here. So now we're just gonna set up Lyro, which is their AI automated chatbot, right? So we're gonna click on enable Lyro over here. You can say start using Lyro. Uh, here are the restrictions. So if you're in any of these fields, just, um, you know, AI is not allowed. The Tidio AI is not allowed to be used in any of these, but we're not. So we're just gonna click on accept. And then you can import existing FAQs or you can add knowledge from your website. So for example, if if I have a website, ivanmana.com, which already has FAQs, then I can just add them here, okay? Now the website we actually wanna use is this one. So we're just gonna go ahead and change that as well. And we're gonna click generate. There's probably not gonna be many FAQs available, but we'll be able to add them as well. And the benefit of this Lyro AI chatbot is that it's gonna look at specific keywords, right? So if you have something like, a question that says, can I cancel? Or how do I get a refund? Lyra is gonna look for those specific keywords to be able to respond to the customer. So the question doesn't have to be exactly the same way that you wrote it here. Okay, so there are no FAQs yet here on the site. So we're just gonna click cancel and we're just gonna choose add manually instead. And now we can just add some questions. So for example, we can say, how do I cancel? And then here you can say, uh, you can go to you know, to our website at cancel.com and cancel from here within 24 hours or something like that. Then we can hit save and then that's gonna be added here, right? And then we can hit activate so that Lyro is now actually activated. And then if you want to add more questions, you, can, you, you just click here, add more knowledge, add manually, or you can import or add from a URL and just do it that way. So like I said, the benefit of this is that Lyro is gonna look for these keywords, right? Cancel, that's the main thing that it's gonna look for. So let's go back before I show you all the different features of um, Tidio. Let me just quickly show you, let's just um, go through all the different options that they say, and then I'm gonna go through everything else. So add more chatbots to your website. So we can click here and then, so in addition to the Lyro chatbot, which is over here, you also have other different chatbots that Tidio has available for you. For example, to increase sales, to solve problems. There's also lead, lead uh, generation chatbots as well, right? So all of these templates that are pre-made for you by Tidio, thank you Tidio for doing that. Um, you'll be able to use them. So, and so you, you can add these chatbots in addition to Lyro or separately, and you'll be able to choose when you want to use each one, right? So one of my favorite ones to use is the generate leads one, because I like to collect emails. Emails are very important, your most strongest asset. That's all you have if anything happens to your account. So you can click on generate leads over here and you can either add from scratch or you can choose which one you want to use here. For example, a lead generation bot or order a phone call and use an updates, lead magnet. So if you click here, you can click on test it out and see what Tidio has created for you. So it says refresh the page to restart the conversation flow. That doesn't sound right. Let's click, let's click test it now again. Okay, there you go. And then it's gonna say subscribe now and receive our latest updates and promotions, right? But if you want to actually see what Tidio has uh, created for you in terms of the exact layout, you can click on advanced editing and then you'll be able to see exactly what they did, which is what you guys can do as well. So I invite you to explore and to test this out for yourself as well. So for example, over here, they said, oh, if, if, a, if a visitor lands on your site, right, whether it's a first time visitor or if a visitor opens a specific page, we want to send them this message. It says, if the person says no thanks to this question, then the chatbot's gonna reply with, okay, cool, if you need any help, I'm here. On the contrary, if somebody says subscribe me, right? If somebody selects this first option over here, then this is the question that's gonna show up. Okay, cool, so what's your email? And then if the email is incorrect, it says, oops, it doesn't look like an email address. They have one number of repeats. 
and then if it is a success, they're gonna be subscribed and then uh, the bot's gonna send them a confirmation, right? So that's basically what this is. So if you like it, you're gonna go ahead and just click on continue and you can click yes, I'm sure. And then this is a bot that you have. So over here, you have all the different bots. So this is the discount bot that we created earlier. You have the generate lead bot that you can always edit at any time, or you can add new ones from scratch. You can add from template and you have all this available here. So again, if you click on all, you have all these different templates. So this is gonna depend up to you and what your business needs the most, right? There's no right answer as to which one should you use exactly. It's all gonna totally depend on what your business needs and maybe what your weakness is, what you lack. Uh, and for example, if you lack customer retention, if people leave your site too fast, then maybe you want to try to to get them with a greeting, right? To get them with maybe a special discount, things like that. On the contrary, if you're not getting many sales, maybe you want to offer them a bonus or maybe a discount as well, right? So that's where this comes in. All these different bots, I invite you guys to play around with them and to see what works for you and your business. So let's go back here. So we've done, we went over the chat bots, we went over Lyro AI. Now, what you can do is you can also connect these different platforms, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp. So you can select any one of these. You can also click on settings and over here, you'll be able to connect it. So you can integrate Messenger, integrate Instagram, WhatsApp. And this just makes it so, so, so much easier for you guys to manage because all the messages that you would get from your business for your, let's say, Facebook business account, Instagram business account, your WhatsApp for business, you would get everything here. And it's just so easy, right? So that's what I was saying. It's more than just a chatbot. It's an entire customer experience management tool, makes it super easy, super seamless, and just makes it more likely that people are gonna buy, people are gonna convert, right? So if we click back here, so let's suppose we connect all these, you can also download the mobile app and you can reply to people that way as well in case you're out, maybe in case you're self-employed, you're the only person and you don't have any employees and you need to respond to questions, you can do it via the mobile app. So really cool. So this is the inbox, right? You have the solved queries that you can solve. If you click over here, you click on Marcus solved, no Marcus unread. You have the home where basically these are all the suggestions. You have the Lyro AI chatbot. You have the other chatbots. The other cool thing, let me just show you some of the other cool features that Tidio has is this email marketing. So you can actually send emails to people, right? So after you get their email, you can follow up with them. So you can create a new campaign and you can set everything up here, email subject. So welcome to our site, something like that, campaign name, let's say I don't know, email one for simplicity. Now you don't have any really recipients yet, so there's no contacts found, but once you do, you will be able to select them. And if you click on next step, you'll just be able to drag and drop. So you can drag an image here, you can drag some you know, text here, maybe another image here for the logo, here for some other image, here you know, you'll have text and you'll be able to write it. Then you say next step, and then you'll just be able to send this out. So really, really cool, really, really simple. Now, obviously right now we don't have any contacts, right? So we can't really uh, finish it right now, but this is how you would do it. So it's really straightforward, really diminishes the need for you to use software like GetResponse or Aweber or MailChimp because you have everything here in one place. So the other cool thing you have here is you're gonna have the customers. So this is the email that I uh, put in, right? When we first um, went to our store, right? When I entered my email, you're gonna see the list of customers here. You're gonna see all contacts, you're gonna see everybody who's live, you're gonna see subscribers, everything here. So first of all, you have the analytics. So let's start with that. So analytics is just going to show you how many tickets were responded to by the bot, by the chat bot, right? So. Um, so if you come back into conversations, you're gonna see how many conversations the bot took over that would have been missed. So just some cool statistics that you'll be able to see to really take in the full benefit that Tidio can offer to. Now, the other cool thing I like here is if you go to settings and you go to, let me see where it is, tracking over here, you'll be able to track with Shopify. So you can select the Shopify here, the platform, and then you can choose what you want. So let's say you want to track all these things, somebody that registers on your Shopify store, somebody that fills in an email, somebody that visits a page, and then you can hit save, and then everything is gonna be tracked here in Tidio. So again, really, really cool, everything all in one place. You can also explore all these different options. You have the canned responses, the workflow, right? The, sh the shortcuts, things like that. I invite you to check it out, to experiment. 
You can also come in here and there are some integrations as well. If you're familiar with these, I'm not really too familiar, but for example, Active Campaign, uh, this is an autoresponder uh, software that helps you send emails, right? So you can use that. Uh, WhatsApp, obviously you can integrate, you know, the WhatsApp, the Instagram, your Messenger, your Facebook, but there are other integrations here like Google Tag Manager, which is pretty cool so that if you're tracking, everything is in one place as well. So that is pretty much it. I just want to cover the bots in a little bit more detail before I let you guys go. For example, if you go to Lyro here, chatbot, if you click on configure, you can choose what you want to do when operators are online for Lyro. So if operators are online, you probably want the operator to answer. So the default here is transfer operator, transfer conversation to operator. When operator is offline, if Lyro doesn't know the answer to your question, or if they ask specifically for an operator, then it should still be transferred to an operator, right? Because at that point, a bot can't really do much. So that's kind of the default and that's generally what it should be. Now, if you go to bots over here, it follows the same logic pattern here. So you can come over here and you can say starts even when operators are offline or starts when an operator is handling the conversation. So when an operator is on, you probably don't want the chatbot to take over because then it's the operator that's gonna be talking, right? But this is where you would basically change these settings over here. So hopefully that gives you a bit more of insight as to how these work. So the Lyra one is basically the AI that's gonna respond to specific questions, right? Uh, whereas the chatbots here are more so used to automate something such as when a visitor visits a certain page or when a visitor has repetitive questions, things like that, that's when you can use chatbots. So you can use the combination of the two to make it ideal for your customers. So hopefully this gives you a good overall idea of how to use Tidio. Again, you can start completely for free and you can upgrade anytime for 20% off, right? So if you go into settings here, if you go into, let me see, project and billing, you should be able to change your plans over here by clicking on upgrade now and then selecting whatever plan you want. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this content, I do invite you to check out my website at ivanmana.com where I offer you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide as well as my training courses where we delve deeper into paid ad networks such as Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads to show you how you guys can promote your products or services online and make money. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.